Trump just gave Debbie Wasserman Schultz a nasty surprise after she spewed lies on live TV. President Donald Trump is feeling triumphant after the long months of enduring the Democratic political witch hunt. Thanks to Trey Gowdy, who cornered Barack Obama's former DHS Secretary Jay Johnson on the bogus Trump-Russia investigation. Top Democrats like Debbie Wasserman Schultz are now lying on live TV to save themselves. However, Trump just landed a knockout punch with a nasty surprise for Debbie, and it's causing Democrats on Capitol Hill to panic. President Trump is uh, sighing with relief today thanks to Trey Gowdy, Gowdy's masterful questioning of Jay Johnson. Obama's former Secretary of Homeland Security busted wide open the initial allegation that the DNC got hacked by Russia. Johnson had to admit that the DNC never turned over their so-called, quote, hacked servers to any federal law enforcement agencies, not to the FBI, nor to the DHS. Gowdy's rhetorical question for the former DHS secretary, why would the victim of a crime not turn over a server to the intelligence community or to law enforcement, made Johnson squirm. He had to agree that there was no way to know who hacked the DNC. Well, the Democrats freaked out over this line of questioning. They could have just said nothing, but this information was too damning. Since no federal law enforcement ever inspected the servers, it puts the whole Russia investigation into question. Right away, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who was the chairperson of the Democratic National Committee at the time this alleged hacking happened, pounced on Johnson in a live interview on MSNBC. At no point during my tenure at the DNC did anyone from the FBI or any other government agency contact or communicate with me about Russia intrusion on the DNC network, Wasserman Schultz said. Really, Debbie? You may remember Dear Debbie was fired over the DNC hack. We first learned about the DNC hacking when WikiLeaks published emails from DNC officials as they colluded to make Hillary Clinton their candidate over Bernie Sanders. Wasserman Schultz was fired for favoring Hillary. So the question isn't, was the DNC hacked? It is by who? It's never been proven it was Russia, and that's what this is all about. It could have been an insider like Seth Rich, who was pissed off that Bernie Sanders got screwed after Debbie, uh, after Debbie tried to cover for the DNC and throw Johnson under the bu bus. President Trump had something to say directed right at her. Trump sensed blood in the water as the Democrats' bogus Russian narrative was wounded badly. Democrats' heads are exploding as they break ranks and Trump's sensing their defeat. Why did the DNC refuse to turn over its servers to the FBI and still hasn't? It's all a big Dem scam and excuse for losing the election. Donald Trump tweeted June 22nd, today, 2017. Why did Democratic National Committee turn down the DHS offer to protect against hacks long prior to the election? It's all a big dem hoax. It should be noted that the DNC produced a report by a private company called CrowdStrike, which claimed the DNC was hacked by Russia. That's the only evidence that Russia was the hackers, but there's a big problem with CrowdStrike. They are totally anti-Russia, funded by George Soros with ties to Hillary Clinton. CrowdStrike blamed this Russian hacking group called Fancy Bear, quote, for doing the DNC hack, but they had also previously blamed Fancy Bear for hacking into a Ukrainian artillery app, resulting in heavy losses of howitzers in Ukraine's war with Russian-backed separatists. 
It was all a lie and proven a hoax by British and U.S. intelligence. The International Institute for Strategic Studies disavowed any connection to the CrowdStrike report. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense also claimed combat losses and hacking never happened, reported Breitbart. This all smells to high heaven, and the Democrats are crumbling under the weight of the truth. The sick lengths these rats will go to, all in the name of ta uh, talk, uh, taking out Trump, the duly elected President of the United States, should anger every American, regardless of political party. Are we not Americans first? It is not an attack on our sovereignty and way of life. It's high time to end the bogus investigations that are costing taxpayers millions. Only then can we make America great again. Let's help our president flush these swamp creatures down the drain for good. Absolutely. Absolutely. So all of this was tied to George Soros, in other words, crowd strike. Isn't that something? Like as if this w wouldn't be found out, right? Like eventually the information is going to be found out, um, you know, through the investigation as time will show. Like I said, CrowdStrike, come on, ties to Hillary Clinton, funded by George Soros. It's disgraceful, as if we wouldn't find out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, again, thank you so much for watching.